Hey guys, what's up? So today in this lecture, we're going to be looking at simple interest. Okay, guys? Simple interest. Okay. And it's very simple, actually. Um, and let's look at the definition here. It says the interest paid or computed on the original principal for a loan or investment for a certain period of time. Okay. So the three most important um, words in this definition are interest, right, principal, and time. Those are the most important words. And as you can see below, we actually use them in the formula. So to find the simple interest, okay, you have to multiply the principal, which is how much you invested, right, by I, which is the interest okay and multiply it by the period of time now the interest is always over 100 right so this would be like six percent so six over 100 and when you break it down you end up with p the principal times the interest times the time over 100 okay and i love how it's in a little acronym here right it's just a pit right just like a pit that you fall into right you can use that as a little acronym for simple interest. So you know that simple interest is equal to PIT over 100. All right? Cool. So here it says where the principal for the investment, where P is the principal for the investment, I is the interest gained during the time period, and T is the time period for the investment. All right, guys? So simple interest is really cool, guys. I'm not going to lie. Like, and I'm going to give you an example. Let's say you you um, you decide to put $10,000 in the bank or you buy bonds, right? Like you buy a U.S. Treasury bill and they say that they're going to give you 8%, okay? Which is 8 over 100 on your money every year, cool? And you say, yo, I need to buy this in a cause. I need to save some money and you put 10,000 US in that bond cool and he said so boom boom right and when you calculate this now the hundred times the eight would give us eight hundred dollars cool so every year right you would actually gain eight hundred dollars on your investment if you buy that bond right you invest 10,000 US into this bond and every year you just get this 800 US right and bonds are really out there to buy you can buy bonds right now you know you can buy bonds as a child you can save up your money and and buy a bond okay uh, so these are really interesting guys like this is where you make money this is how you make money by getting that interest you know and it's very simple and we're gonna do some examples to show you guys all right so we're back in it and we're looking at the first example for simple interest and it says here 10,000 US is invested at 10% per annum for seven years what is the simple interest payable and how much is in your account after seven years all right all right, guys, so let's do this example. Let's calculate the simple interest. So let's do A, okay? Let's do A, okay? And in order to calculate the simple interest, SI, the simple interest is equal to PIT over 100, right? P-I-T over 100, cool? And the interest is 10%. Uh, the principal is 10,000 and the time is seven years. So let's put that down. T is equal to seven years, right? P is equal to 10,000 and I is equal to 10%. Cool. All right. So we should end up with 10,000 multiplied by 10% right which is just 10 in this case you don't put the percentage value guys because remember the 100 here represents the percentage so you put 10,000 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 7 divided by 
100. Okay? All right, so you should end up with these two zeros cancel, these two zeros here. And we're going to end up with 100 times 10, which is 1,000, times 7, which is 7,000. All right, guys? Cool. So, and that makes sense because 10% per annum, 10% per year means that 10% of 10,000 would be 1,000. And after seven years, you get 7,000. So that makes perfect sense, guys. All right. All right. So let's do B now. B says, how much is in your account after seven years? Okay. And it's kind of really simple to see that um, your total, uh, your total amount would be equal to the principal plus the interest earned, right? That makes perfect sense. So it would be the 10,000 plus the $7,000 in interest that you earned over the seven years. And the answer is $17,000. Okay. All right. Great. Awesome. All right, guys. So we'll finish this one as well. All right. So let's look at two more examples. Okay. Hey guys, great. So we're back in it and we're looking at the second question for simple interest here. And the second question here says, a woman decides to save to buy her car in cash. Very smart woman, all right? And she goes to the bank and buys a bond which pays 7% per month and she invests $500,000. So the bond is paying 7% per month and she invests $500,000, okay? Now, A says, how much interest is she paid each month? All right, so let's calculate that. So for A, the amount of interest she's paid each month is a 7% per month, right? So the interest per month is equal to seven over 100 multiplied by the 500,000, right? Okay, and we could use the same formula, you know. Let's put it in the formula form. Remember the simple interest is equal to PIT over 100, right? So let's use this formula to calculate it. So the formula should say the principal, which is the 500,000 she invested, right? Multiplied by the interest, which is the seven, multiplied by the time period. And in the time period, in this case, it's one month because they pay 7% each month. So multiply that by one and then put it over 100, okay? And if you notice, this is the same thing as this, guys, okay? These are the same. Uh, right, these are exactly the same. So these two zeros cancel, right? That here, same thing here would happen, right? And we would end up with 5,000 times 7, right? Which is 35,000, right? All right, so that's how much she's paid each month, 35,000 each month, okay? All right, so let's just put that right here, 35,000. All right, cool. All right, so we calculated A. Let's let's do B now, guys. All right. All right, guys. So we did A. A is thirty-five thousand, and B says how much in interest is she paid after one year when she's ready to buy her car, right? So let's look at that. How much interest is she paid after one year? Okay. So we're gonna use the same formula. The simple interest is equal to PIT P I T over one hundred. Right, and in this case, the principal is a five hundred thousand. Right, the interest is a seven percent. Cool, but what is the time period in this case? It said it's seven percent each month, so the time period T is actually 
12 months multiplied by the one year. So it would be 12 months. Cool? And I give you this example because they can trick you. You have to really look at um, if it's showing months or year. You know, you have to look at the time period. In this case, it's 7% per month. So you have to put the time period in the formula in months. Okay? So in this case, you're going to get 500,000 times 7 times 12. Okay? And divide it by 100. And this is the total amount of interest that she will gain in the year. Okay? So let's cross out these two zeros. And we're going to get 5,000 times 7, which is the 35,000. Multiplied by 12. Cool. And when you multiply 35,000 by 12, you should actually get... Right, you should actually get 420,000. Alright, guys? So that's what you should get. Okay? And guys, calculators are encouraged in this section. Okay? So you don't have to... Um, manually do everything you want to use your calculator and get very familiar with your calculator in this section all right guys cool so let's look at the next question the next part now let's look at c okay guys all right guys so we're looking at c now and it says how much does she have in total right after the year it's finished cool so remember the answer for this one was actually four hundred and twenty thousand right Cool, 420,000. So 420,000 plus, which is the interest that she was paid, plus the principal, the 500,000, is equal to the answer, okay? So how much she has in total must be the principal plus the interest, all right? So in this case, the 500,000 is a principal and the 420,000 she gained in the year is the interest. So it's going to be 500,000 plus 420,000, which is equal to 920,000. Cool. Awesome. And I'm sure she can buy a nice Swift with that. You know, she can buy a nice Suzuki Swift um, for that price instead of buying the old little um, Hyundai, you know, or the old little Honda them. So she in a better position after the year, after saving and, and deciding to buy the car, all right? Okay, so great. All right, guys, so let's, let's look at one more example, should we? I don't think we should look at one more example. Let's look at a real life example, all right? Let's look at a real life example to see. Hey guys, all right, so for my last example here, we're gonna use a real life example, okay, for the third example. And you know I love these real life examples because it gives you a real um, feel of the fact that you're gonna use this information in the future and it's gonna be useful to you. So I'm here on Sagicor's website, right? Sagicor Bank, and they're saying, or Sagicor Investments, it seems. And they're saying they have US dollar bonds, okay? And it says, our US bonds are ideal for investors seeking currency protection while meeting their medium to long-term goals. Investors have the opportunity to diversify their investment portfolio by investing in international bonds in different markets and industries, cool? So they're saying that the minimum amount to invest is a thousand dollars US, so yeah, you need a thousand dollars US to buy these bonds, right? And the earnings are up to eight percent per annum, okay? Right, so cool. So let's just do an example of that, okay? Let's do an example of that right now. Let's say you go to Sajikor and you say, and you say, listen, you want a one thousand US dollar bond, and Right, so you want to buy a bond, and the they said the earnings of up to eight percent. Let's assume that the earnings are eight percent. So the principal for the that you plan to invest is a thousand US, right? 
the interest that you're going to earn per annum is 8%. And you want, to, you want to invest this for five years. Cool. So the time is equal to five years. Right. So let's just answer the question. No. How long, how much interest would we have after five years? So let's just multiply that. Let's find the simple interest. After five years, it should be PIT over 100. Right. So this would be equal to the 1000 US multiplied by 8 multiplied by 5 years over 100 cool so we're going to cross these two out and we're going to end up with 80 times 5 which is 400 us cool so that's that's not too bad that's not really too bad every year you'd get 80 dollars right and after 5 years you would have you would have 400 US extra on you $1,000. So after five years, you'd have 1,000 plus 400, which is 1,400 US, right? So this is really nice, guys. And this is really good. This is what saving and investing is all about. And it seems small, this 400 US, but it can be really big if you invest in more, right? Suppose you had invested 10,000 US instead of, um, right, suppose you had invested 10,000 US instead of 1,000. Um, you'd actually end up with 4,000 US after five years, and you'd end up with $800, right? You'd end up with $800 every month. Sorry, not every month, every year. Um, so if you had an extra 80 US each year, your life would be much better, all right? Or if you had an extra 800 US each year, your life would be much better, you know? And let's say, for example, you invested 100,000 US, right? If you had an extra 8,000 US each year, dude, you would live a nice life. You'll have a petite now and day, you know? <laughs> Seriously, because things would just be so much better. So... Bonds are good, you know, bonds are good, they really are, and if you buy it in US, you protect against currency protection, as they said, um, which, is, which is really important. I don't know if you guys realize, but, you know, the, the Jamaican dollar is just rising and rising in terms of, you know, one week it's, one week it's, it's, it's 124, and then boom, it's 131. You know, and it's just going to go up and up, guys. So it's very good to invest in U.S. as well. All right. So I like these practical examples, guys. All right, guys. So that's it. And I'll see you in the next lecture. And remember to do your best and God will do the rest.